We're going to start with Tillamook. This is going to be look number five with the Roxa palette. And this is the last look that I'll be doing with the Roxa palette. I will be milling it out tomorrow. It will have a new home. And I'm excited for that to see the looks that will come from that. But again, if you haven't been here, this is what she looks like. We have our eyes primed. We have one Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Face Primer. We have one the Estee Lauder 4 in 2 foundation and we have on the 4N concealer under eye and this area here which I had to do two layers around here my mustache area is being disrespectful right now and I do believe because it's winter my skin is a little drier even though it doesn't feel like it I've noticed that the Estee Lauder that I did put in an airless pump it, I'm noticing that it does make my skin look drier this is a full coverage foundation I tossed the pack because I got sick of it pumping not pumping as far as the primer um I'm, I'm ready to just get back to, <laughs> to Fenty, but I wanted to do, use this again. The PO was in until 2026, and so I can just set this aside and use it again when it's not winter time. Yeah, stuff is falling. I'm just going to leave it knocked over. Inner rooms. What's on my inner rooms? Inner rooms we have from MAC Color Excess gel pencil eyeliner and hellbent and on our lower lash line also from mac this is graphic content so that is what is there i did prime the eyes with the urban decay eyeshadow primer we will finish the face later and i will edit that part out um, i will be doing full face tutorials for my professional level membership um, if one of my members do request me to do another full face get ready with me, then I will do that. So if you're curious about membership, you need to join and you can submit requests and you can have more say, well, you have say into what content I do put out here on the channel and shout outs, of course, and all of that. So this is another look on, that's going to be inspired by one of Natasha's looks. And so we're going to take phase. This is a potted liner from Lethal. It came in uh, one of their large mystery bags and this is what it looks like she took a burgundy liner for the upper lash line and we're not going to put a pencil liner up there so we're going to put a gel liner this is the Esom T03 brush and we're going to go wide with it because she does use a shadow and it seemed like it's been eclipsed for all of these looks that she used to blend out the liner so I loaded up the brush we're going to go wide with it since we're going to smudge it out anyway and if it doesn't want to smudge the thick line will already be there and so this I don't remember um, the dry down time for this but yeah we are going wide with it and I don't want to look up where you are because this is so thick this line it will transfer up here because I have hooded lids and so we're going to put that there I do kind of want to look up and see oh and it didn't is it drying already and we're going to do a wing up here I do need this to be thinner but if not we'll just say the troll in me took over and we're going to put a line down here and I do need to put is that wet <laughs> it's wet right here and we are going to put a line down here which is looking really wacky already maybe not it is wet right here hmm my AC is on and it is blowing right now. And it was like 70 something degrees again today. So this must be Indian summer as they call it. And I need to look up why they call it Indian summer. When we have, like when weather gets cold and then it gets warm again. Cause it's probably something that's derogatory or has a negative connotation on why they call it that is what I'm thinking. But maybe not. Cause like Black Friday, some people were annoyed like, oh, you're calling it Black Friday. but. In the financial world, when something's in the black, that means you, you're making a profit. Versus in the red is when you're losing money. And so some people didn't know that. And they were upset that they were calling it Black Friday because they thought it was negative and it wasn't. And so I'm just saying that to say, I need to look at why it's called Indian Summer. <laughs> so we're going to put this here. So as you see, I am really just going out all out with this last shadow with Roxa. So we're going out with a bang and we'll just see what happens and so as i said this is inspired by her looks but it's not at all like her looks because she does not do thick lines like this number one and also what i realized and i noticed it but i didn't pay attention to it looking at her looks they're always looking down so you don't really know what eye shape they have <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like, hmm, because it does help when they look forward to see what the eye shape is and to see how the look looks when their eyes are open. This one is down further. This, uh, y'all, y'all know we gonna do the thing. And this one is just kind of coming out here. <laughs> So we're doing a double wing, but I promise you I've done better. Today was a day. Today is, I believe, October. Yes, October 22nd. And my uncle transitioned today. And it seemed like it had been a long time, but then on the other hand, it didn't. And so I was watching my ESOM um, premiere tonight, which was fun interacting with people um, in the comment section. And I remember saying, well, in hindsight, I had said in a video, October 10th is when they said he was actively transitioning. And so I'm like, damn, it was only 10 days. Um, yeah, time has, has really seemed weird lately. Like time is, it speeds up and goes slow at the same time. And that's, that's always kind of weird to me. And because I'm nocturnal and I go to sleep and wake up on the same day, because I go to sleep early morning and then I get up in the late afternoon or evening that's kind of trippy too, because you know you think when you go to sleep you wake up it's the next day, but for me it's the it's the same day, and so that's kind of trippy sometimes. And sometimes I do lose track of days if I'm having a migraine or you know a string of bad pain days because I'm sleeping off and on so much the days just blur together. I might think you know one day went by and it's been like two days because I'm, I was in like a migraine fog or something. So we're gonna take. Um, Eclipse, which I did say she used for most of her blending out. And this is an Esom, I want to say V09, am I right? Yeah. And we're going to just put this on. And I'm sure this is dry. The liner. The liner is dry, but it's looking like Eclipse is just a little bit darker than the liner. Which is kind of cool. So it is just like a really thick line so I'm excited to see what looks will come out of this once it gets to its new home I do not regret buying it not at all it's been quite an experience and if you've seen all of my videos you've been here for the experience and it's been it's been a roller coaster it's been a roller coaster the determining factor for me to give this a home was because I have a lot of purple looks already, and I don't like dupes in my collection. And somebody was saying, you know, it comes down to what formula I like best. And it's not even that. Um, I do like the formula in Leela better than this one, though. But it wasn't even about formula for me. It was about, I don't like to have dupes in my collection. And if I'm doing looks, if every look I've done with this palette looks similar to other looks that I've done with other palettes, it's like, why keep this? Because again, I don't like dupes in my collection. I know some people don't mind. But me, I like to have a curated collection. I don't want to have, you know, two or three, four or ten palettes and it's all the same color story. And even, and what's, what I like about the looks that I saw that I had done that were purple looks, they, they weren't, the only one that was a purple palette was Violet Thoughts from... Um, notoriously morbid. The other looks were from palettes that just happen to have purple shades in it. And so I like that variety as well, says me who bought golden and I need a nude and I need a warm, but I did purchase I need a nude for my kit, is that they weren't purple palettes, purple, purple palettes, but I was and I did get a purple look from it. And so I do like that variety, but as far as golden, I need a warm, I need a nude, if I do just want something quick and easy, that's going to be, you know, little little to no fallout, that's going to be easy to use. I don't have to think about it. Where Whatever color combination I use is going to look nice. That's what those palettes are good for. But when dealing with certain colors, darker tones, it does take a little bit more thought and sometimes a little bit more time to do the look. And so... If I want to do a purple look, I have purples in other palettes, and I do like those looks. So that's that's what decided for me just to give it a home. And now we're going to take, huh? 
Now I'm gonna take Orchid, and she uses this a lot too to also blend out. And so this, is this even even? I don't think um, this is even. So we're going back with Eclipse, because this is thicker. This goes into the crease over here, and like up here, it's not almost into the crease. The crease is where you see where the crease is. The crease is right here, is what I'm saying. And this side com almost comes up to the crease. This side does, and this one doesn't. Y'all, I'm so glad I didn't poke myself in the eye because I really thought I was, and I did that before. My eyes are not as teary today. I did cry today um, when I got noticed that my uncle passed away. And thank you to those of you who are part of more, a part of my support system. That was very helpful, and I appreciate you, and you know who you are. And so today was an up and down day. I haven't even eaten yet. I had Boathouse Farms. And for me, you know, sometimes when I'm going through emotionally, I want comfort food, meaning carbs. <laughs> and so I took sauce out the freezer to thaw out, which it is thawed now. So I'm going to eat spaghetti again tonight. Even I took out chicken last night to thaw, but it's not completely thawed. And so that'll be for tomorrow. But I wanted to order a pizza and I'm like, I have food here. I'm not ordering anything. Um, so that's that. So this, this could be a look. Like this is a vibe and it's simple. Easy, smoky, <laughs> double wing look. And I like it. And I do, I am glad that for this final look we're doing with this, that I am doing something very different. So now we're gonna take Eclipse to blend the upper line, but I'm gonna use the tip. I should probably use a different brush. I'm gonna, Hiccup, excuse me. I'm going to take this brush. This is the Eason brush. I was going to use the Eason V0, no, V27, but we're not. We're going to take V31. I feel bad that I don't know the names of these by heart because I use them all the time. I use them a lot. So this, <laughs> we're just going to blend the, the upper line, but it's not going to blend. But what it's going to do is... It's going to put this, it's going to make it look like it is blended because of how this is showing up in the crease. And I am glad that I used this brush for this. I don't use this brush often. Sometimes I'll use it without shadow on it just to buff out um, the upper line or the upper edge of my lid shades. And sometimes I'll use it for lower lash line. Um, I don't think I've, I don't, I don't think I've used it for the crease. I've used it for outer V's and outer corner but I don't think I've ever used it for this area here, which actually is my crease too, because it's in the socket. Um, but I do like this. It's a wannabe cut crease look, but not because this line right here is very harsh. And so I might take um, Eclipse again with a brush like this one, because I have quite a few of them. And just put that in here too and blend that out some more. This is definitely very different. I think I'm going to take a blending brush. And actually, we're going to use um, my hourglass number six after I do this on this side. Because I do want to bring this up more so that when I look up, you can see it. And so we're going to... Yeah, that liner... I know, I just stopped sentences. We're going to... And then I started something else. We're going to place this here. Um, that liner did dry down quick. <laughs> I haven't used it in a long time. I've had it, I opened it, oh, December 26, 2023, and it still works very well. I don't know what the PAO is. It looks like, I don't know, and I don't wanna to take too much time looking at it. I'll have to take a picture and then enlarge it to see, because it looks like it wants to, stay. it looks like nine months, but it's, um, and it's about that. Cause I opened it December and December is in three months, but it wasn't dry at all. Not at all. So this is what we're doing with this. I don't know what's supposed to blend out under here. Like <laughs> probably nothing. That's probably just supposed to be like that. And I don't know what's supposed to be in here, but I'm thinking to put this in there because this will still show up in there. And I think that'll look better than just my bare skin. So we're going to take that. Um, what were we going to do? We're going to take this brush hourglass number six and we're going to go into orchid and we are just going to just blend this in in the transition and a little bit into the crease. So we're just bringing it up a little bit higher. Ooh, that's nice. So I am glad we are going like 
bold with this. If you haven't seen my other videos, I will say it again. I said it in the previous one. When I did my live swatch video of this palette, I did compare it to Leela because a lot of people are still saying this gives Leela vibes. There was only one shade in Leela that was a dupe for one of these shades in Roxa. This is not Leela. It is like Leela's little step sister. And so, and I think it just gives the illusion of being like Leela because Leela is definitely purple. But Leela, the shadows or are, or the shadows are more rich. They are deeper. And the Leela formula is smoother than the formula in here. And I know that's, that's blasphemous to some people because they're, they really love this silk formula, the silky matte formula. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying the mattes in Leela, the shades were softer and creamier. That's all I'm saying. So I'm not saying these are bad. And no, it's not a personal attack against anybody that absolutely loves this new formula. Um, I do like her slip cream matte formula that was in I don't know if it was in I need a warm or what but that formula was really nice and I was thinking that was going to be the new cream to powder but in this palette like there's no cream to powders and there's no creamy mattes it's this silky matte formula and it is a nice formula but I do like the other one better <laughs> I like um My brain keeps locking up. I do like the slip cream matte formula better than this silky matte formula. And I think it has something to do with the cream aspect. That's what I want. That's what I'm just thinking. Um, but it's not bad though, but it is just different. And if you don't have a lot of Natasha Denona palettes, you may not even notice the difference. Or if you had a problem working with the cream to powder and creamy mattes, then you may like these. You may, but it is not Leela by any stretch of the imagination. It just gives the illusion because it looks purple. But um, I swatched it in my live stream. I will try to remember to link it below so you can see the swatches and see for yourself that this is not... Um, we're going to take this brush and still go back into Orchid. And we're going to fill in in here. Do I have primer over here? Because this is not going to lose the wing. Oh, okay. Because... The shade, that liner is a lot deeper. And so, so yes, Leela vibes in the sense that it's, it's a purple look. But swatching the shades, there was only one that was a dupe. So this, this is not Leela at all. And I really like Leela, but I didn't use it that often. Maybe after we finish the face, I'll come back and put some of this under there. Or that might just be too much. This might be too much for some people. I don't know. We're going to we're going to take um hmm, and I had one over here for something. This, hmm, Scott Barnes number sixty two. We're going to go into Eclipse and we're going to just run this in the crease because I'm I want to soften this line. And the thing is, is when I look up here, I can't tell. <laughs> and so the the look up here is different than when I'm looking down. But I do think this is working, putting some Eclipse in the crease because it is making it look a little more blended, I hope. I hope. So keep in mind, when you're watching videos, if someone isn't head over heels for something that you're head over heels for, it's not a personal attack against you. It's just makeup, y'all. It's really just makeup. But some people do seem like they take it personal. You know, from what they comment, and it's just like, it's just about makeup. Like, I wasn't attacking you. I'm not bashing the brand. I'm just voicing my opinion. We all have opinions. You know, they say opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. And, you know, we are, we do have our own opinions, and we have our, our own preferences and different aesthetics. And so a lot of things come, in, come into play when someone doesn't like something you love. And that's one of the reasons why I do explain like why I don't like something or why I don't keep something because that's the important thing. If I just said, oh yeah, I don't like it. It's like, well, why? Because I want to know the why. And it may just be preference or maybe they, they might prefer darker colors or they may prefer more neutral colors. And so there's reasons, you know what I mean? And so, you know, that's that. So we're going to move to the next color. We're going to take Velour. And this, is this eye tearing upward? Shh, I think so. 
my look yesterday was it was really excuse me for smacking I'm, I'm irritated because well you know this isn't as bad as the other day because there was a hole right here from where <laughs> it, it creased so bad so velour there's a crack in velour so i'm trying to smooth out the crack why is it cracked like i didn't drop this or anything and that's in here so it's her placement but a troll spin because she didn't do the thick line and all of that stuff but that's what we're going to do this eye i could feel it tearing over here and yeah, it is wet here so you saw how it's darker right here where i pat it it's because it's wet but if i could make it through that last look <laughs> we can definitely still finish this one too Oh my gosh. And when I did the pictures my gallery, I didn't um, do one, I think, looking this way. But my eyes closed because you can see the patch. And so I just did like this way. And then my eyes open, I think, is what I did. Because <laughs> it was horrible. I was just like, oh my gosh. But, yeah, we don't scrap looks. This is tearing over here. And it is starting to wash away that liner. And you see how like that's lighter like right here than in here. So maybe after we finish the face or when we finish the face, we'll go back and um or you know what? The Lord was in a transition too. <laughs> so we're gonna take this brush. This is um E49 from Sigma. And I wish these were still on the website. Um, but they're not. Maybe I can find some on Macari, as if I need any more brushes. So all of these shades are kind of blending together. Orchid and Velour. When I put them near each other, because this is Orchid. This is Velour. It does blend into the same shade. But then she didn't take um, Orchid into the transition, though. And I did. But putting it on top of it, it doesn't look any different <laughs> than before I put it on top of it. It's kind of trippy, because we want things... Well, I would like things to look different. Just like if you layer a shimmer on this, you'll see it. Now imagine if you put a shimmer on top of it and you couldn't see it. It's like, why Why did I do that work? Why did I do that work? We're going to blend this up a little bit. I don't know what's under brow bone, but I really like um, when I put Star Girl under brow bone. Sweet Pea is Ashtown for me, and so is Phoebe. But I do like Star Girl up here. So we're going to just blend this up some more. And we're going to put Star Girl up there, but I don't want a lot of blank space like here you can see there's less space left than over here so we're going to bring this up over here we're just going back and forth with the brush lightly not heavy so you see that yeah there's always a line here i see and i need to stop seeing it that y'all don't see and i think it's just my facial bone structure or whatever so now we're going to take oh wow okay we're going to take brink <laughs> For the first half of the lid, which means we're layering because we already have a lot of stuff on the lid. And so this is going to go here. I, and I am going to go back with the sponge tip after we get this on. So that way you can see again, if you didn't see the other videos, like that you don't need to use your finger. You can use a sponge tip. I do have them linked below. And you can see what a sponge tip does. To me, it does mimic... That did just erase all of that liner work we did. Um, for me, it does mimic a finger application. Like, it seriously does. And so I, I am going to do that again with the sponge tip today. So you can see. Because I hear for some shadows, they're like, you, oh, for payoff, you, you must use your finger. You have to use your finger. And I think that's just because they're comfortable using their finger and they haven't tried with a sponge tip to see if it's the same effect or not. And so it's not anything against people. But I do things and say things to you just to let you know that there are options. And if you're fine using your finger for makeup, use your finger for makeup. We're going to turn this brush over and go into Regal, which is this shade up here. And that's going to go on the outer half of the lid. I don't think I like these two together because this looks cooler than how this looks. But it is somewhat a topper shade. It kind of blends in, but I can see it looks a tad ashy just a tad like when i first put it it's just like okay it's lighter than the other shade um and so she may have layered it because sometimes she'll do that and her videos are so fast like if you're not really just like you know staring if you blink you'll miss something because she does a whole eye look and like 
excuse me, it's edited down to like however many seconds, like a minute and a half. So it's just like, okay. So this is Brink with the sponge tip. This one is the only one that's flaky. I'm not going to tap it off, but look at that. You see that? Tell me that's not what it looks like when people use their finger. How it just really amps up that shadow. You can see the difference. This is just a brush. This is a brush with sponge tip. So, yeah, try them if you don't like using your fingers below. These sponge tips I like they're longer. Some are half this size, and so then they're always trying to get in there. But I like this because I can hold it back here like as if it was a brush. And I still have the control that I want. And then... I can, you know, flip it over and use the other side, as you can with the shorter ones, but it's just easier for me to not have to have one and I'm like all the way up in here because then I can't see because my hand is blocking my eye. But, um, but yeah, give them a try. And thank you if you do use my link or just copy and paste the name of it and close the browser and go into another browser if you don't want to use my link. But it does make a difference. And I like sharing options with you. We're gonna turn this over to this side and we're gonna take Regal and we're gonna put that on the outer corner. And so look at that. You see that? Yeah. Tell me I have to use my finger. I'm gonna tell you, no I don't. And it's just a me thing. I don't like using my fingers for makeup. I was trying to get in here but then I was going the wrong way and I didn't wanna cover up the liner line but it looks fine. So we're taking some more and we are going to come this way with it but look at that it really does work and i like the effect i am doing the outer edge of the liner right here and so we're going to overlap because i'm sure that she did but um it's definitely lighter because when i turn you can see that it's lighter than here or maybe looking like a dual chrome i don't know and this side is tilted right. It's like right here. I see sweat on my face. This is the brush I use for primer and foundation. And I may put more under my eye. I do see some glitter, not glitter, but fallout. But once I put on um, powders and all the other stuff, it may not be there. We're gonna take Flutter, which is this one. And this is gonna go on lower lash line and please don't let it go into my eye. Sure, it's going under there. Don't let it go into my eye. It's pretty. This is a different look, but it's not much, it's not any dimension to it once we put those lid shades. But you do see that they layer very well, though. And it, and it is opaque once you do layer, which is what you'll need to do because some of these shimmers. Or just toppers and so this this is always a learning lesson for me when you're shimmer shades especially lighter shimmer shades it's always a learning lesson on what is it going to look like on my bare skin and then what is it going to look like if I layer it so that is what that looks like and then she took star girl this one we are going to put this on the brow bone she put it for tear duct area which I kind of really don't want to do that because I see some of flutter in there. So I'm not going to put this on tear duct area. And also this one is a little bit wet. So I just want to finish the face. Um, I'm wondering if I want to put eyeliner on again up top because these shimmers just completely covered it up. And so that's what that looks like up there. And I do think it's really pretty. But it's not unlike something I've done before with other stuff that I have. So why are you here? That's my point. Um, I'm wondering if I want to take, I'm wondering if I want to put a color under here, like a shimmer under here, but I don't know. Let me take that brush out that had flutter and maybe we'll do that. So right now we're going to put that same eyeliner. This eye is irritated. Oh man. We're going to put the eyeliner back um, face from Lethal Cosmetics. We're going to finish the face. We're going to come back. Everything will be done. What we're going to use is Lancome Seals Boost XL Mascara Base and Lancome the Finish Seals Mascara this time. I 
I want to use this lippy from the Notoriously Morbid. We're going to put this on. It'll probably look really monochromatic, but I just want to use it. Uh, we're going to powder down the face. We're going to put on a little bit more foundation and concealer, and I over-pumped on here. So we're just going to put some more under here. So that'll help clean up some. And we're going to powder down with the Fashion Fair Set It Loose Powder. I wear the shade. This eye is tearing. Truly Tawny. We're going to use, um, I'll use my Sigma bronzers today and my Sigma blush. Thank you, Bestie. What is that? That's the eyelash. Where the hell did that come from? Um, and the highlighter from Sigma that she sent me. Yeah, that was an eyelash on my face. Um, and we're going to put that lip on that I just showed you. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm scattered. We'll be back. I do like this lip gloss with this look. I thought it was going to be more red, but I like it. And I do think it'll go nicely over the City Lips Plumping Lip Glosses because it is a thin formula. It's not really opaque, but it's like just enough. So I can see some of my own natural lip pigment color here underneath of this. But this is nice and it smells like sugar, like cotton candy. We did everything else we said we were going to do. Uh, we did refresh the liner up top, but it very much kind of blends in. The only thing we did that I didn't say we were going to do is we took Flutter, this shade here that's on lower lash line. We put that underneath the liner here. I did refresh this line, and we put it inside the V over here. So just to give it a little bit of shine. This cheek situation, y'all. I love this Sigma stuff. Um, So that'll be it. Let me know your thoughts. This is what we have. This side is still tearing, but it seemed to stop a little bit. But this eye is really itchy. And it must be shadow in the eye because if it was a reaction to the shadow, both of them would be itchy and irritated. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you think of this look. <laughs> and my little wacky double wing. But you know what? The bottom one is more or less coming out straight. Where it's instead of the accidental swoosh and maybe because we have the top wings going upward but i do like this and i am glad we put flutter under here just to have some shine under here and in between the v for the double wings and i really dig it so thank you for being here let me know your thoughts this lip gloss smells so good <laughs> from the notoriously more of an advent calendar which was only available for a limited time so it is no more and everything that was in an advent calendar. I'll put the link to that video down below and also in the iCards too for you if you want to see it. Everything in there was exclusive to that calendar. And I'm glad that I purchased it. We're really going to go. Um, thank you for being here. Um, membership is below. Read about the perks because I'm super excited that the members will soon be shopping my stash. And I've never even shopped my own stash like for a video. But so I'm excited about that. And there's other perks as well. You get to make requests and things like that. There's a lot of links below. The Amazon link for the sponge tip applicators will be below. And um, yeah, there's a lot of links down below. So make sure you check that out. And thank you for being here. Let me know your thoughts. As always, self-acceptance, self-love. That is the crazy troll nation way. Thank you. And you will see me soon.